so so my earthy earth earth earthers why not so we are going to see what's really good and going on in june i know time is fluid but we're gonna see what's coming on what's coming forward for us pulled a couple oracles put them in the book for us so i'm not stumbling yeah we're about to have a good read you feel me but first and foremost Praise to the most high for giving us another day. Happy Friday. You feel me? All right, you already know we are highly favored and protected, meaning no weapon form shall prosper, but if they want to try. Yeah, if you feel me? That's cool. Nonetheless, Earth Gang. We finna see what's good and going on, but first, let's see what's up with the oracles. Let's see what's up with the oracles. So, first up, angels and ancestors. Let's see what we got. What did we get? What did we get today? Ooh, Hunter. Divine Masculine, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see what we got. It says, track down your fears and desires. Track down all of your fearful thoughts and feelings. When you find them, you will find your desires too. The Hunter card is based on my favorite Celtic god, Sir Nunnus. He is the stag god of the wild and represents both the hunted and the hunter. Similarly, the hunter helps to connect to the, with that with an energy that is both fearful and fearless. Your fears are the only thing that are standing between you and what your desires are at this time. So you have to come face to face with them, and the hunter does with wild um, as the hunter does with wild animals and go beyond. Fears. curse at us like that fears hmm. hunter and the hunted you know what i'm gonna have to think back on that one i'm sure something will pop up later i'm feeling rather appalled right now mm -hmm, mm -hmm. anywho second oracle for the month of june for the earth gang we have crystal technology with silicon yeah all right so we have crystal technology so we got if this card has come up for you it is time to communicate with the crystal spirit realm it's been said that humans one once had 12 strands of dna and 12 chakras we actively use the more light it contains the more information can be obtained from the elementals being inside the crystal itself this card reminds us that we can tap into our inner being to attune to other elements including trees plants animals and more this card tells you to listen to your clair clairaudient telepathic and clairvoyant abilities everything our phones and computers can do is possible because there's a tiny silicone based organism inside and at one time this technology was more integrated in our own life than before thank the crystals within your home any that you encounter and even your phone's crystal because all the sentient beings respond to human emotions New thought pattern. I recognize patterns and choose grace, compassion, and kindness for myself. Hmm. Interesting. So are we supposed to be using these crystals to like, you know, store our non-fearness that's going on right now? I'm still a little confused, still a bit appalled. You feel me? Trying to integrate both of them, but they don't want to right now. They're kind of like, bah, bah, bah. You feel me? Nah, it's just me. All right, cool. Um... Let's see what the most high has got for us today. All right, influence on our read. Bottom of the deck, we have the strength. Fear, 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 fear. What are we afraid of, guys? Do I have Earth in my chart? I do. Capricorn. Oh, man. I fit in this group. It's cool. We got this. If anybody's got this, we got this. Let's go. Let's see what's good. What's going on for the month of June? What is that? Five of Cups. Oh, is that what we're afraid of? Walking away? <laughs> we're good. You feel me? First and foremost, yes, there's regret. It's the sorrow and sadness. Anytime we have to walk away from something that we emotionally invest in, or pff, invest in, period. All right? But at the end of the day, as you can see, we got this. All right? We got this bear chained, and we're moving forward. All right? We are in control of this. We are moving as one. All right? So, honestly... We've been doing a little bit of thinking with this Four of Cups here. And it's looking like our strength may be leading us towards a new adventure. Seeing a little bit of traveling, seeing a little bit of fun. Lots of passion with the Knight of Wands. But definitely on a journey to travel, to have fun, to truly unwind. 
All right, now I think this is where we get the fear, the nine of swords, anxiety, reoccurring thoughts, sleepless nights. Ah, what the heck is going on with that nonsense? All right, it's the land of the unknown. I feel you. So we get Earth Gang, Earth Gang. So we got what we got. All right, so we're nervous moving forward. Eight of Swords, we're definitely in some sort of mental imprisonment. But we're being guided towards calmer days, calmer waters, better nights. We're definitely in our hermit mode, doing our research, we're studying, we're healing. All right, taking a lot of time to ourselves, doing deep introspective work. As I said, we're definitely in a mental imprisonment. But as you can see, the ancestors are definitely watching our back. You already know. All right, it looks like we're, we are suspended right now. We're not allowed to really make too many moves, possibly because we need to heal before this transition. But yeah, we're, we're starting to recognize that we're going to be taking action soon with the King of Wands. All right, so we're doing research. We're gathering information right now, okay? Possibly in a direction that excites us, okay? Six of Wands. I'm sorry, the Chariot. Towards victory and success. All right, towards calmer, better days. Towards the Ten of Cups, a happy family life. But right now we're holding back from our transformation. Nah, that can't be what's going on. Oh, we are. That is what's going on. The sun illuminated all that. All right, so why are we holding back from our transformation? Is it because we're sad? What's going on, Earth Gang? Page of Wands, we're excited. It's a new innovative idea. Okay. Okay, we made an offer to the universe and they definitely seem to be accepting it. With the Page of Pentacles, that is right there. All right, the High Priest is moving in silence. Very spiritual, very gifted. Okay, Most High is telling you what's going on. And it looks like the Most High is telling you to take a break and rest. You should be sitting back. All right, you're gonna have a very, very uh, exhausting journey coming up. Maybe not exhausting, but you're gonna be exer exerting a lot of energy. All right, so we wanna kind of uh, store it. Store your energy. Word. All right, Nine of Wands, Page of Cups. All right, so you like a warrior on the battlefield? You're like new to this? You're over here fumbling and stumbling over your own feet? What's going on with this Nine of Wands, Page of Cups vibes, huh? Come on, what you doing? I got you, we're good. First and foremost, it's not that bad. It is that bad. People are not the same as it used to be. I feel you, I got you on that. Okay, page of cups, but it looks like somebody has sturdy romantic interests. All right, yes, it's only a page is amount, but nonetheless, your antennas are moving. Eight of pentacles, maybe you guys work together, maybe you guys are already in cahoots working on something, but there's definitely some work going on somewhere with this new energy. Eight of Wands. Communication. Forward movement. Is this the direction where you're moving to? Huh? Seven of Pentacles. This is definitely where you're investing your time. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So it's new. As I can see, the baby It's premature, but it's a baby. It's going to grow. It's going to be strong. It's going to be healthy. Depending on how you raise it. The Wheel of Fortune. Okay, hmm, the devil. All right, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Come on. You want to come in there with romantic vibes. You want to make sure this girl ain't crazy. I feel that. I feel that. Now, you definitely want the Wheel of Fortune to spin. And as you can see, she's definitely perfect. She's per pregnant. She's about to pop. Her belly's huge. All right, compliment. That's a compliment. Um, but you want to you wanna make sure this is the right move for you. You know, you are very much aware that you don't want to make go down a path with the karmic energy. We'll put it like that. Okay? So you want to make sure you're making the best decision. Seven Swords. So you're being very calculated, very strategic about what you're doing, where you're placing your energy. Yeah, definitely peep the hermit. I like it. Okay? Because you're, you're looking for wish fulfillment and nothing less. Very good, very good, right? High standards, so the universe only delivers you the best. All right, okay. And that seems to be a queen of pentacles is what you want. 
Okay. But you don't know how she feels. Or you don't know how that situ how the wheel is going to turn, I should say. Oh, so we're just waiting. Waiting, waiting, waiting for the opportunity. What opportunity are we waiting for? What opportunity are we waiting for? You're resting. Okay, you're resting. But what are we waiting for? Ten of swords. What are we waiting for? What are we waiting for? To make a choice. Hold on. Yeah, you lost me on that one. Knight of Cups on the table. Bottom of the deck, we're having a tower. Yes, I'm definitely having a tower right now. All right, so we have a choice to make, clearly. Okay, are we going to give this woman our, an offer? All right, we see the potential. We know there's the potential with the high priestess here to have a ten of pentacles that's in life if we offer our five pentacles. So we're either going to build or we're going to leave this out in the cold. So what are you going to do? Oh, I feel you. That's a lot. 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 Okay. Oh my goodness. Three swords. King of swords. You don't want to get your feelings hurt, which is why you're keeping your feelings to yourself at this time. But you definitely see marriage, stability, a union, happily ever after. You see it all. You see a two of cups, a beautiful, wonderful partnership soulmate partnership excuse me all right and, you, and you're already being guided in that direction i'm being honest earth gang you're already being guided into that direction so it looks like you shouldn't even be thinking about it yeah by you thinking about it you're kind of blocking yourself you're already doing it kid ace of pentacles you're already doing it. This is your gift. Stop thinking about it. Just keep moving. Go. You're late. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Congratulations. You guys totally. Oh, you're getting an empress? How'd you get an empress? That's not fair. You're cool. I've got high standards. I'm demanding an empress. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so your choice was for an empress. Not a king, not a queen, not a knight, but an empress. And it's looking like the most high is granting you this gift, this ace of pentacles. Alright? So that may become that may come across as a bit of a shock, a surprise. Alright? It looks like honestly she may be your partner, may also be birthing this um this manifestation to fruition. All right, we got the Six of Cups. So I'm thinking, oh, I'm landing on the Two of Cups. Oh, crap. This may be a past life soulmate situation that finally has an opportunity to balance the scales. I'm so sorry. I don't know what that was that popped up on the screen, but whoa. All right, Earth Gang, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Where are you? Here you go. Like, where are you? Come back to me. I want to pull up the past life oracle. Just, 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 just to see what's good. Feel me? Let's see if we get a little bit of insight on that. You feel me? Hey, maybe you were the prey. Huh? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, like, no, I was the hunter. <laughs> Don't judge my life. Alright, let's get some insight on this past life situation. Spirituality and religion. Angels. From the deck, we have finances. So maybe finances affected you guys before. Okay, nonetheless. We have angels. Galactic. Transportation, Asia, authority figures. You can put that one together yourself. I'm going to leave that one right there. That was mumble jumble. I'm going to be honest with you. It's mumble jumble for me. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's some galactic angels that are transporting you over towards your Asian heritage or some Asian authority figure. I don't know. I don't know. That one don't make sense to me. But congratulations. Um, you're definitely receiving the blessing. 
I believe the only card I truly am going to accept are going to be these two. Spirituality and religion over the Six of Swords to the Two of Cups. Angels, I'm definitely going to accept landing over the Eight of Swords with the Owl watching us. Other ones, we're not going to accept them. It doesn't, it doesn't feel as if it fits. And then honestly, at the bottom of the deck, we could have accepted finances because this is definitely a blessing and ace of pentacle, if you ask me. All right, I was about to start singing, but I stopped myself. I stopped myself. Nonetheless, we are going to leave this one right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this read for June. Next month, I'm going to do it a little differently, you know, give them a little bit of pizzazz, jazz, you feel me? It's going to be muy magnifico. Nonetheless, thank you guys for being part of my community, my family, hanging out with me. Um, I hope, wish you guys nothing but the best love, light, prosperity, all the good things in life, all the best health, everything possible, and protection. Protection. All right, so we're going to get up out of here. Praise the most high for another day, and hopefully I'll see you soon. Love and light, guys. Where are we going?